It's a horrific, yet absolutely true indictment of human nature. Everybody, <coughs> excuse me, everybody's looking for a patsy. Everybody's looking for someone they can kick square in the ass, blame the patsy for everything, especially if they find someone he won't fight back for himself. He feels bad about himself. He's cowering, genuflecting because of his height, whatever it is. And he has a horrific, terrible problem with a woman. He can't approach the women. They'll treat him like a cockroach. That's the truth of it, particularly if he's out of shape and he's short and small. And I tell you right now, everybody, now you listen very good to what I'm saying to you. Everybody's a fair weather friend. And I'm the one to know about it. I've cultivated, cultivated me so many damn lousy fair weather friends. Every one of them. Fair weather. You understand what I'm saying? Fair weather. Each one pretends I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I got blah, 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 blah. All bullshit. You have to be incredulous about all these assholes, these social assholes, who tell you I can do this. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody does anything for anybody unless there's something in it for them. Remember, I told you this. The greed principle. What's in it for them? And if you expect anybody, I don't care what kind of, he may be a doctor. He may be this. He may be that. Crap, crap, crap. It's just a bullshit title. The VIPs, he knows. Crap, crap, crap. Mean nothing to me. They don't do me any good. Unless you can lever, leverage the son of a bitch. Grab him by his feet. Hold the fool down. Get leverage on the son of a bitch. And make him do what he says he's going to do. Or face a consequence. Most assholes will disappear on you. When the trouble comes, they're gone. The real question you have to ask is, Hey! What have we ever done together that takes and makes us friends? That word friendship is bandied around. It means absolutely nothing. In the final analysis, you make a phone call to your fair weather friend. He could be a doctor. He could be anybody. You hear what I'm telling you? The title means nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can count on me. Sure you can. He never showed up. But there's always a rationalization. There's always an excuse. Hey, I had to be some, hey, I got a very, very important call. Well, the hell with you, my fair weather friend. The important call may be nothing, may be nonsense. I needed a friend at that time. And you claim to be a friend. And when push come to shove and I asked to cash in on that so-called friendship, you disappeared. Show up three, four months later. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How just thinking about you a little bit. Sure you did, pal. Sure you did. I'm talking about fair weather, friend. Right now. Nobody wants to talk about it, but I will. I do. Everybody says, hey, friend. Hey, friend. Oh, when Bush comes to shove, believe me, they will fail you. They'll be gone. And I've experienced this. I've experienced every Every kind, I don't care who it is in my life, has always been fair weather friend. Just bullshit. It sounds important, but when Bush comes to shove, they're not going to be there unless you have leverage. Unless you are VIP, you have a title, and you hold a son of a bitch by the legs to get him to perform. He's not going to perform unless you can take and twist his arm to the breaking point. Hey, you son of a bitch. You promised this. Today at this time, you promised this. You promised that. Where is it? You never showed up. You disappeared. Then reappeared a couple of uh, six, seven months, maybe eight months later. Hey, I was thinking of you a little. Sure you were, pal. Sure you were. That's the truth. Sometimes when a man squares off and tells another man the truth, you feel good about it. You feel good about it. At least I let the son of a bitch know he's a son of a bitch. He's a fake, he's a phony, he's a fraud, and I told it to him right to his face. Regardless of any consequences. He was worthless before and he's still worthless right now. It's just bullshit. Really a waste of time. That's all. Big talk, 
I know this. I know that. I'm, 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 I'm. No. When push comes to shove, he's a worthless. I'm going to say it. A worthless prick. When push comes to shove, the man isn't worth 10 cents. What's he worth? What's he done? I've done this. I've done that. I, 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 I do this. I do the blah, blah, blah. No, you haven't. You're just doing what you say you do so you can brag about it. And I've seen no exception to that case. I don't care who the man is. If the man's bragging, I did this, I did that, I paid for this, I paid for that. I know this is important. He's bragging, my friend. He's bragging. He's put on a show. But at the bottom line, he's a worthless prick. As far as I'm concerned, no character. The man has no character. A man who makes a promise to perform, do you understand? He said it. I didn't say it. He said, I'm going to do it. Whatever. Then when the time comes, he's gone. You can't reach him. Hey, you got an important phone call. Then he disappears into the ether. Where the hell was he? You said you were going to do this. I depended on that. Gone. You can't find him. He won't answer any phone calls. Such a man I call a prick. That's all a low life, a man of no decency and character. And I tell it to the son of a bitch directly. That's how I feel. It's about time somebody talked the truth to garbage.